Good morning. This is Sports Princess coming to you bright and early. Um, I'm going to make another video for you. Um, guys, I've been saying it all along. Kayla Harrison has been a hype job since the beginning of her MMA career. Um, she, let's see, this is her third fight against Kurt Checo, and she lost to a unanimous decision. And guys, this fight revealed a lot of things about Kayla Harrison. One, Kayla Harrison can't take a punch. Two, she don't know how to make adjustments. She doesn't know how to make the, the proper adjustments when she's down in a fight or something like that. You know, like she, Kayla Harrison has been a hype job. This girl has been fighting tomato cans. Her only notable wins was against Cindy Dandois, who was already way past her prime. Cindy Dandois was already way past her prime. You look up all the other girls that she's beaten. Go look these girls up. None of them were impressive. None of her wins impressed me. None. And guys, I, I'm sorry to say this. Even Larissa Pacheco is somewhat of a tomato can. That's why she lost to Harrison twice the first two times. Larissa Pacheco just happened to figure out Kayla Harrison. She figured her out. And, I mean, when you fight somebody two times... See, and I think what it is, Kayla Harrison... I don't think she has, she doesn't have the ability to beat someone over and over, to beat someone over and over again. Valentina's beaten, uh, uh, Yon and Jacek four times now. She's 4-0 and against her. Um, Amanda has, she's beaten Valentina twice. And I don't see Valentina beating Amanda Nunes a third time. Like, I just... Kayla Harrison has was set up. This girl was set up to be the face of the PFL, which is why she fought tomato cans. And nobody expected her to lose to Larissa Pacheco after the first two times. Larissa Pacheco, though, did what Kayla Harrison could not do. And that was make adjustments. And once Larissa Pacheco figured out Kayla Harrison and made those adjustments, Kayla Harrison had no answer. Kayla Harrison couldn't do anything. There was nothing she could do. Kayla Harrison's chin is suspect, and it showed. This girl can't take a punch. Larissa Pacheco just showed exactly how you beat Kayla Harrison. Hit her in the face. Hit her, you know, wobble her. Kayla can't take that. She can't take a punch. She's not used to that. And if, and then if you can defend Kayla's takedowns and get out of those submissions out of that, you're going to win this fight against Kayla Harrison. Problem, and, and guys, it's been there the entire time. How to beat Kayla Harrison has been there the entire time. It's just nobody's been able to figure out how to do it. Because she fought fighters who didn't have the IQ of how to do it. She fought tomato cans. I know you Kayla Harrison since can't, are going to get pissed. You're not going to like what I said, but I am down to the T right. I've been saying this all along. Coach has been saying this all along. done uh mma boxing community you know a lot of us we've been saying this all long kayla hype job harrison is a hype job she's been a hype job the pfl set her up to be the face of the of uh pfl and for you know, like, and it, it, K 
Kayla Harrison is a hype job, and it showed. And for her to think that she could beat the likes of Amanda Nunes, a Chris Cyborg, hell, a Jermaine Durandame, Kayla Harrison would get knocked out smooth if she fought Jermaine Durandame. Kayla Harrison is a hype job. Uh, guys, look, these champs in these other promotions, they're fighting tomato cans. Look at Ben Askren, 18-0. and 0. Then when he got to the UFC, got his ass knocked the smooth clean out. Got knocked out. And then he lost his next fight. I'm telling you guys, as much as we all probably hate the UFC, the UFC produces the best fighters in the world. The reason why Kayla Harrison is content in staying in PFL, one, because of the money, but two, she knows the PFL will give her opponents that she can beat. Kayla Harrison, if she went to Bellator or the UFC, she would get absolutely destroyed. And she knew that. Which is why she won't go to the UFC. She won't go to the UFC. I mean, in a way, I can't really blame her. The featherweight division, featherweight division in the UFC is pretty well dead. They don't even have a 155-pound division. So, I mean, if Dana wants Kayla Harrison to fight for the UFC, then he needs to up this featherweight division, get it cooking, get it cracking. Otherwise, she's not going to come over and fight. But as I said, guys, she has been Kayla Hype Job Harrison has been exposed. She has been exposed for what she is. She's an average MMA fighter who fought tomato cans. This is Sports Princess. You all have a wonderful